Okay. Okie dokie. Let's get this show on the road. Okay. Stream looks to be up and working. Game doesn't... Okay, there we go. Okay, so. This is Final Fantasy 3. One of my favorite Final Fantasies. I really, really like it. And ignore that continue, because that was just me testing to make sure the game worked. Not that there's any <laughs> loaded game data anyways. But, yeah. So we're gonna start a new game. Let's get into it. New game! As you can tell, this one's much more va uh, visually impressive than uh, 2 was. Uh, that said, 2 was the Game Boy remake, and this is the DS remake of 3, so... This game and 4 are going to be really pretty, and then we're going to go back to 16-bit for uh, 5 and 6. Sorry. I didn't see that hole there. What have I gotten myself into now? An orphan raised by Nina and Elder Topapa. In the village of Ur, adventurous by nature, his curiosity gets the better of him as he tumbles into a hole created by the Great Earthquake. Uh, we are going, as always, with the uh, wrong button. Uh, we are uh, as going with the uh, basic names the game provides, because I don't have any reason to not. Really? Honestly? Ooh. Hola, como esta? Uh, these, I don't have magic or anything. So, uh, yeah, we start the game with uh, nothing. Oh, como esta to both of you. I am moving, <laughs> moving my uh, my thing so I can actually see what you all are saying, <laughs> so I can actually respond to you. It's the way I had it, I just couldn't see you at all. It's great. Okay. Hola. How are you two doing? What's up? Don't you be stabbed this goblin. He's dead. I killed him. I killed him, Carl. Oh my god. Crap for it. Yay. Those were monsters? Why do I get the feeling this is not the safest place to be? Oh, oh, let's immediately get into a fight. Yeah, just stab him, please. Yes! So proud. Anyways, oh! Stuff. Oh god damn it. Same by same I mean watched uh Steven Universe stuff out of the Steven Bomb. Even though it's out, I'm not gonna watch it. And what Pathfinder stuff are you working on? Right? We need to play again soon. Wasn't this like graduation like today or something? Job level. It's a freelancer. Thank you. Chest contained a leather shield. Let's put that shit on. You do need to catch up on Steven Universe. Ugh. So, th uh, this game uses the controller stick, and I'm still used to the D pad I was using for two. <laughs> so, this is driving me a little insane. So, if I ever just like stop moving, it's because my hand is moved to the D pad, and like I'm trying to move myself. Good. Hmm, there's something strange about that rock. Press Z to take a closer look. I don't remember what I actually mapped that to on the controller. R, I think? Maybe it was L. Yeah, it was L. Okay. Just contained a longsword. Oh, you're played by post game. Look at that. See his sword and his shield. But only for a second, because he puts them immediately away. Food. I'm bringing food. Can you just kill the goblin? Can you just die? Oh, thank you.
trying to avoid leveling up all possible. Just contained a potion! Just contained an Antarctic wind. Good, I'll need one of those. Bacon. I thought I was bringing sausage, but I could bring bacon. Yeah, that's fine. Ow, don't eat me. The horrifying abomination. Yay, Lunith's job level increased. The one job that doesn't do anything. It's fine. We're fine. I feel the encounter rate in this <laughs> this starting area is a little high. It's a little high. Oh yeah, so I told everybody at game night how Eric eats his eggs, and everybody rightfully shamed him. An Arctic wind. This water. It's very nice water. A wellspring. What mystifying colors. You make fun, Clark, but in Final Fantasy X, like, your equipment can completely stop uh, encounters from happening. Ah! Health water! Look, it's a... What? What is that? A wisp! It's a wisp! I don't actually think I have any hats yet. I will never get over the fact that you microwave your eggs. Run! Go! Go through the door! Go! What? What's that? An evil creature attacks Lunith! A lot bigger than I have remembered. Kill it! That's it! Ow, ow, ow! No, no, no. Deal that ice damage. It's what he's weak to! It does not work. It does not work perfectly. <laughs> You've affronted the Lord! Coughing. Uh. Chain Gill and experience. Yay. Then it's like, well, that was a thing that happened. Anyway, so let's keep going. <laughs> you have been chosen. Who, who's that? Who's there? So this was cute in the DS version of this game. The text where the screen goes black actually appeared on the top screen as if it was like heaven talking down at Lunith, which is cute. Warrior from the land of darkness, you have been chosen as the bringer of hope. Is this crystal talking to me? Darkness is threatening to engulf the world. When light is lost, the equilibrium will be no more. What what are you what are you talking about? There are others who share your destiny. You must seek them out. Once you find them, I will bestow upon you our last light, our last hope. Now go. Oh, wait, I don't understand! So this is different than the original, because in the original, you fell down here with all four party members. They were generic ones, like they are in Final Fantasy 1, and you immediately got your jobs. Not in this game! You gotta stay a freelancer just a little bit longer. I'm back on the surface. What was that? Light? 
darkness, our last hope. What was that all about? Is what a Stephen Universe leak? People! Humans! Lunith, the elders are looking for you. King Sassoon's castle is on the, to the west of here. He's the lord of all the lands surrounded by the Parmini Mountains, including this village. Hi, Lunith. The others went over to the corner of town. I wonder what all the hubbub's about. It's said that those blessed by the crystal's light can regain their health and even revive themselves by drinking wellspring water. I mean, I suppose that's an accurate statement. I hear you're going on a journey. You're free to stay here anytime. Now, you best rest up what, rest up what lies ahead. Stupid earthquake, I can't get back to Canaan because a huge stupid rock is now blocking the entrance through Nell Valley. Hey, would you play me a song on the piano? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh. How was that? Everybody boos him. <laughs> You're garbage, good sir. Why, hello there, Lunith. Watch me dance. Uh, Moonlight Sonata? Or the the dancer's song? If you're going on a journey, you have to take some antidotes and eye drops. I mean, maybe, but they turned me straight, so I think she succeeded. C could, could, you, could you? Could I talk to you? Okay, whatever. Fuck you. Bye. Who's gonna run around? Old man! Let me tell you about your current job. Freelancers can use low-level magic, but their base attributes are crap. Okay, thanks. <sighs> yeah. I have to play at every piano in the game, and I unlock some ability for bards. I heard that someone put a curse in the whole town of Kazoos. I'm not going anywhere near that place. Wise, it's cursed. Elder Dawn. I can sense what has happened to you. You must heed the words of Elder Topapa. Elder Topapa! You've come, Ludith, so it is you who has been chosen. You must understand that your meeting with the crystal was not happenstance. It was the crystal's will. You have been chosen. Chosen for what? I don't understand. A long time ago, a traveler came to me carrying a newborn child. His face was covered in soot, and his clothes were burnt to tatters. The child he carried in his arms was you. To think, even as a newborn, you were already destined to be chosen by the crystal. You must now set forth on your journey. Take your power, the light you hold in your heart, and use it well. So, uh, a crystal chose you, so uh, I'm kicking you out of your house. Bye. Nina, so this day has finally come. I'm going to worry about you, so promise me you'll be careful. If you run into trouble, try looking at the control hints. You can find them by opening configure 2 under configure. Okay. That's nice. Bye, Mom. Lunith, you must treat Nina, your mother, the very best you can. You must know by now that she's not your birth mother, but she is taking care of you as if she truly were. It's very nice of her. Adopt a random baby. Just appeared in her town. <laughs> Aren't those your friends making a ruckus near the far end of town? Make them stop. The most important part of fighting is knowing when to run away. Just press M to do that. Also, if you don't see all your commands, move the cursor up and down to see the hidden ones. Okay. I didn't believe in spooks until I saw one in Kazoos. You can take the items in the storehouse up ahead. This should help you on your journey. Watch out for monsters, though. I'm actually not going to go that way because I want to avoid getting levels until I have my jobs. I'm gonna buy Cure, though, I think. If I have money. Oh, uh, they don't have Cure! Never mind. How is it we weird? Like, how do they legally adopt Clark? Like, how do they come up with that? Like, we found this baby. We want it. I heard something happen in Kazoo's village to the south. The elders were having some kind of serious discussion about it. Though the kids don't seem to care. The little rapscallions are being as raucous as ever near the corner of town. It's out of town. 
Oh yes, I left that there intentionally. That was no accident. A potion! A potion! A potion! Okay, bye! It's great. So you're leaving Ur, then? The whole town's talking about it. Take the potions in the well with you. Okay, they keep talking about my friend in the corner of town. I know who they're talking about, but where the hell is he? Which corner of town? Do I have to go where it's dangerous? Is this, is this game's telling me? I have to head north. Where is he over here? Being all annoying. He is! Okay. I mean, that does seem needlessly complicated, but what else are they gonna do? Just like, hey, we found this baby in a field. Can we adopt it? Oh, yeah? Ghosts don't exist? Then go there yourself and prove it. Ha! You don't have the guts. You're a coward. Another orphan raised by Topapa and Lunith's best friend. Unlike Lunith, he prefers reading over gambling in the wild. His studies endow him with great knowledge that make more than make up for his shyness. Hint, hint, he's a mage. Hey, Ark, what's going on? It's, well, I mean, I imagine he was not in the orphanage very long. Like, he, they left him there, and they probably came back like, a few weeks later and be like, yeah, we want to adopt a child. We want that one. It's Lunith. Let's get out of here. He'll murder us. Look at those purple eyes. Yeah, probably. Hey, wait, Art, you don't have to run away from me. I'm not a coward, but I know I have to be stronger. But I can't ask for Luna's help. I'll show them. Hi, girl. What's your name? Oh, hello, Luneth. I'm picking flowers. Is there something special around here? There was. Potion! It's the wrong button, but okay. <laughs> it's the wrong button. Okay, off to Kazoos. Kazoos! Uh, Ark? Touch. Ah! That's the best. Ark, it's me, Lunith. Don't be afraid. Why did you run off on your own? What are you trying to prove, anyway? Let me go with you, Lunith. I want to show everyone that I'm not a weakling. I did manage to come here all by myself. You'll take me with you, Lunith, won't you? Alright, if that's what you want. We have two people in our party now. When you're rich, you do what you want. Does he start with any magic? He has more of it. Oh, he's a higher level than Luna. That may be why. Uh, what is your equipment currently? A knife. Give me another knife. Have arc dual wielding knives. Anyways, there doesn't seem to be anybody here. Except all these ghosts. Only the power of Mithril can banish the djinn. This is why the djinn cursed this town. Once it found out how the nearby mines were packed with the stuff. Howdy there. Since the name, I'm from Canaan, but I've been stuck here ever since Nell Valley got blocked by a giant rock. On top of that, I got a curse cast on me along with these other folk. Ain't that a trip and a half. <laughs> um, Lunith, do we have some way to help these people? Say, if, you, if I lent you my airship, do you lads think you can help me and these other saps? From what I hear, this curse can be dispelled through the power of a mithril ring. Unfortunately, we all seem to be out of mithril rings here. Even if we can get the mithril, Taka the smith has been turned into a ghost himself, and his daughter, the apprentice, has gone missing. My airship's hidden in the desert west of here. Use it to find a way to lift the curse. Keep in mind, you can get on or off the airship by pressing return. The same goes for all other vehicles, too. You got that? Thanks. For that totally wall-breaking thing. The djinn that we had banished into the sealed cave was released by the earthquake and cast a curse on us all. 
If only we had the mithril ring that the blacksmith had forged. It is the only thing that can banish the djinn. I wonder where the smith's daughter has gone. I remember her complaining about her training and not wanting to follow in her father's footsteps. I wonder if she has a mithril ring in her possession. Wouldn't that just be so convenient? Anyways. <laughs> oh, look! Here she is. The token woman of our party. Sadly. Ah, who are you? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. This is Sid's airship, and he's letting us use it. Raised in Kazoos by the mithril smith Taka, whose rigorous training led her to run away from home. Again. I'm Refia, and I'll have you know that my father and I forged the parts for this ship back in Kazoos. So that's... that means you're the blacksmith's daughter. You have to help us make a mithril ring. Yes, that's the only way we'll be able to lift the curse on Kazoos. I, I... I can't. I can't make mithril rings. I didn't study that far. I didn't want to. Swell. Well, I don't think Sid's gonna be particularly happy with that news. Wait! I know where we can find a ring. My father forged a mithril ring for King Sassoon a long time ago. He should still have it. Let me go with you. I can't make mithril rings, but I want to help my father and the people of Kazoos. Which pose? The one in her... her official art? I think she should come with us, Lunith. Me too. Slacking off, slacking off saved her from the curse, so maybe that luck might rub off on us. Hey! That's not funny! I have no idea. I blame straight people. All aboard! It's like so epic. Like, the airship is like the last thing you get in 1 and 2. And in this game, it's like, here you go! Barely out of your first dungeon. Here's an airship, bro. Anyways, let's land it immediately and go into Castle Sassoon. A terrible curse had befallen the people in Castle Sassoon while I was gone. Only the power of a mythical ring may save them, I am told, but Kazoos is suffering from the same fate as Sassoon. I must do something, but where will I find a mithril ring? I am the daughter of the blacksmith of Kazoos. The king must still have the ring my father made him. We've come to borrow the king's mithril ring to save Kazoos. Will you let us through? An audience with the king, yes. I believe I can arrange that. Come, I will be waiting in the throne room. Oh, there's a person there. Let's go talk to him. Well, this is a fine mess if someone's gotten us into. What will become of this kingdom? I mean, everyone's already dead. They're all ghosts. We will thoroughly explore this place after we have our jobs, because there's monsters here, too. I don't want too many levels before we get our jobs. The sword White Slayer, the bane of all undead, is stored atop the western tower. That's good to know. The sealed cave is guarded by undead, animated by the power of darkness. You must know that cure is harmful to them. But we don't have cure. The Jin's curse has befallen us all. And I am no exception. Sire, these younglings have come seeking the Mithril Ring to counter the curse. The Mithril Ring? You seek to use its power to banish the Jin once again. I would grant you this boon. However, my daughter holds the ring, and she went missing shortly before the curse was cast upon us. If the princess holds the ring, the djinn may have taken her. If it is so, I fear for my precious Sarah. The djinn must have taken her to its cave to the north. Don't worry, sir. We'll get her back. Sire, I would like to ask you for your leave to accompany these brave souls to the sealed cave and rescue Lady Sarah. A loyal soldier of King Sassoon's army. He narrowly escaped the Jin's curse. His prime concern is finding the missing Princess Sarah. This guy is the one whose Jeremy's uh, Red Mage costume is based on. You have my leave, Ingus, unless there are any objections? Of course not. His sword is worth twice that of these two. Now, that's not fair, but 
I agree that having one of the king's men with us would help a lot. I don't know why he took offense to that. If somebody like came up to me with like an actual like soldier and was like, "This guy's a better shot than you," I'd be like, "Yeah, probably." <laughs> There's a secret passageway in the sealed cave. Search for the skeleton. Key. I am counting on you and your friends, Ingus. Ben banish the djinn and save us all. I forget which button does the thing I want it to do. Ah, we can have Ruffy in the front. I almost never play with Ruffy in the front, though. I don't know. We'll keep it Lunith for now. Maybe I'll change it every every stream. Who the front, the face character is. Okay. Let's save before we head off to that cave. No, yes. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. I really like this music. All the music in this game is like remastered and remixed stuff. Uh, we don't have any cure. Whoop, whoop. There we go. Oh no! Money! Kill the money! Okay. Like, I understand why Lunith Ark is. Ark died in one hit! Okay. I don't know what I wanted to do! Why did you do that? That's a good thing I saved. Yes, I died. Like the third battle of the game. Fantastic. Anyways. Okay. Well. Now that we have all four people, can we just go to the crystal and get the jobs and then? Free the people of Kazoos. Uh, I don't remember the right way through here. I know, right? Best way to start a stream, die! Anyways, as I was saying before I was brutally murdered, I understand why Lunith, Ark, and Refia all started with knives, but, um, why the fuck did Ingus start with a knife and not a sword, considering he's a soldier? Chest containing a longsword. Well. Let's fix that. Give him a longsword. Ugh! We can't afford a helmet, a shield, or a sword, but we have this, uh, we have this butter knife. Here <laughs> you go. Bronze bracers. Ooh. Uh, I guess those can go on somebody? Sure. Princess four now. Sleep. Ex excuse me? Like, the spell sleep? Yes. Okay. Um, well, who should I make my black mage? I'm probably going to go with Ark. Just because. 
Is Lunith is kind of like a, a ninja, rogue type character. Ninja, pff, what am I saying? A rogue type character. Arc's a mage. Refi is like a physical fighter, like damage. And Ingus is like the physical fighter with like the defense. So, I'll probably go with Arc. There you go, Arc. Let's not drop in there until we search all of these. And another longsword. And bronze knuckles. Ooh. Okay, I don't think he would agree with that. Let's the bronze knuckles. I think Ark is probably my favorite character. Where am I? Oh, okay. So this is like this is knuckles, <laughs> a knife, and a long sword. Fantastic. Yes, everything here is super weak, as it must be. I just need to get back to the crystal, and maybe it will give me my jobs, and if not, I have to grind anyway, so this is fine. No, there are bows, but I will rarely be using them because with this game and in four, you actually have to like keep track of ammo and it's awful. So I I, I usually pass. Unless I end up getting like a stack of iron or holy arrows, I'm I'm gonna pass. Spin stab. But no, the arrow, the the bows look fine in this game. They are not backwards. Are you gonna give me my jobs, Crystal? I got all four people. We're here. I'm here. Ah, uh, fine. Fine. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go right here. Um, buy Poisona. We'll give that to Ingus. does not have a hat, but he's the only one without a hat. So I'll get one hat. And three bracers, and he's the only one not wearing leather armor. One leather armor. Hat. Armor. Arms. 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 Okay. We're more protected than we were 20 seconds ago. We need to grind, so I guess we could go get all the items out of the spec thing. I'm hoping one of the items in this chest, this chest back here, are, is Cure, and that another one is Blizzard. Oh no! I too would be surprised there are goblins in my town, but whatever. Whip him out. Hi there. There are switches that open hidden passageways in towns and dungeons. You'll have to look closely to find them. Take a look at that candle, for example. If you zoom in close enough... <laughs> Titties! <laughs> I often make...
make my Animal Crossing citizens say ridiculous things as their catchphrases. See that shining spot? Those sparkles tell you something fishy's there. I just love Luna's surprised look. Like, oh, what is this? What is happening? An antidote. Another antidote. Damn. Okay. A long sword. A dagger. Which is different than a knife, I guess. A phoenix down. An eye drop. And cure. Oh, thank the gods. Okay. Switch this. Long sword, and we'll switch your knife to a dagger. Wrong game. He doesn't have to break the pots in this game. He just has to look inside of them. Oh, no. Uh, cure is going on. Angus. It's our resident. You say, as you have caused almost no property damage in D&D. &D, I guess we could go try and pick up White Slayer. Oh, I didn't heal. I was, in, I was actually the entire point I came here was to heal. Suck the water. Is this the right water? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was the right water. Um, I don't know if that counts as property damage, considering the contents of the book. Okay, let's go in. The Western Tower? I'm guessing it's this one. Immediately get into a fight with uh, dark eyes. Which look, look, already have a reskinned enemy. Already. Oh god, it's not dying with one hit. It's not dying with two hits. He's not dying with three! Oh, God, we're gonna die. Blind? What's a god? I have, like, one eye drop. Please murder them. Come on, crit. Rude. The dark ever do to you. Well, if you fix it, it also doesn't count. Just die, please. Thank you. Ark's job level increased. Raffia's job level increased. Good. Good. Oh, God. Why is this t tower filled with zombies? Please die. Oh god. Ow! Jesus! Ow! Oh Jesus! It burns! does go back from the, uh, the MP system that 2 used back to the, uh... No, he's poisoned. Of course he's poisoned. Back to the, um... The fancy and magic system the first game used. 
I think this is the last game to use it, though. Yay! Lunas gained the level, Art gained the level, Refia gained the level, Ingus gained the level. The zombies are hard to kill, apparently. Not apparently, obviously. Not what I wanted to do. Ugh, whatever. What is this? A, a wooden arrow. A holy arrow. J just one? No, oh, stacks of 20. Okay. That's nice. The chest contained White Slayer, but it's a trap! It's a trap! There's a griffin! Go to sleep, Mr. Griffin! Go to sleep, Mr. McElroy! We missed! Ooh, crits! Oh! Oh! My flesh! Just, just heard it! Come on, we got crits. Just kill it. Let it die. Oh, double crits. It's still not dead. Goodbye, Lunathir. I mean, I, I'm totally fine with that, actually. As long as it dies, we get White Slayer out of it. What? <laughs> Just Lunath face down on the ground, dead. Hark's like, yay! <laughs> uh, let's place this with White Slayer. Which is better? Yes! Yes! Just respond with my thrussy? Question mark exclamation point. Away. Run away! Look away! Look away! No, it's the best! She can let her Animal Crossing villager say anything she wants it to say. Is it? No, well, Lance is still dead. <laughs> she just yells thrusty now. As she should. Thank you. It's not a meme, it's a new word. It has in entered the English lexicon. Now submit it to Miriam Webster, be like, new word. <laughs> Just all of your villagers yell thrussy at the end of every sentence. Oh, yeah, it's your, uh, uh, Thritoris. Just like your Adam's apple is your Thresticle. Let's try this place again. Come on, Princess Sarah, where are you? <gasps> ah! A mummies! A mummies! Kill the mummies. Oh god, that's so much damage. You missed! You missed with the weapon that can kill them. You fool. Absolute fool. Not Poisona. Here. You got him. Yay, he's dead. You just cast.
Blasting Poison? I mean, that's fine. It means it missed, but rude. I like the way the White Slayer looks. Crit! Confused down to 12 HP. And of course. Of course. I'm glad your job level went up. Arcs level level went up. That poisons an egg? That's a really specific spell. Didn't I, actually, didn't I mention that spell? Didn't I find that? Because it sounds really familiar to me. Skeletons! I bet they hit hard, but don't have a lot of health. I may have been right. This is an Inquisitor spell? Hell yeah! I mean, a lot of spells are shared between the classes. This, you know, have different ways of accessing them. Oh, damn! Go, Ark! Loon has gained the level. Ark has a job level. I don't want your job levels to go up. That's useless to me. You're freelancers. You don't have jobs. It's fine. Anyways, what's in this box? A potion. Fantastic. We need to go heal. Clark, if we weren't playing 4th edition, what edition would you want, uh, would you want to play? Princess Sarah, she can heal us. Oh god, the money that murdered us last time. Curse copper. In general. I would I would not transfer to a different uh, edition with a campaign. It would stay in that edition. want to do fifth? Note, I'm including Pathfinder, even though it's te not technically the indie edition. Well, at least we're doing decent damage now. Then again, so are they. Save that cure. Lunith gained a level. Ingus gained a job level. Oh, we have potions. Be healthy, Riffia. Well, the way it handles spells is the exact same way third and second editions handle spells, I think. 
crit for 22. Uh, I'd rather run because I don't want to. Ugh, Come on. Come on. Thank you. Yo, Princess Sarah! You in here? Girl? Ooh, chest. With a ton of money in it. Yeah, it's a 3.5. Uh, you have to sp specify what spells you're uh, you're putting in what slots, and I think in fifth edition you just have like your general spell list, and that's kind of it. And you're like you specify like a bunch of different spells, and you can cast them from that list with your spell slots. Ingus, thanks to heaven, you're all right. Milady, you must hurry back to the castle. We will take care of the rest here. But before you go, we need to borrow your mithril ring. There is no need. I will go with you. I have come here to banish the djinn and save my people, just like you. Her Royal Highness has spoken. What should we do? She should be alright as long as Ingus looks after her. No harm will come to Lady Sarah as long as I live and breathe. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, basically. They all, it, they all kind of work the same. Oh, before I forget, press C whenever you wish to speak with me. Now, let's hurry. What button do I have that on? Square! Okay. Oh, I should tell you about saving and quick saving. No, please don't. I don't. You don't have to break the fourth wall for me, thanks. You have anything else to say? Hello there, I'm Princess Sarah. What's your name? I'm Lunith. Nice to meet ya. Very nice to meet you, Lunith. Nothing new. Okay, that's nice. Can we, can we skip this? We obviously already saw this. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Or if he is mad at us, whatever. Let's go. Let's go. Down. Up. Oh, God. Revenants. It's not an ominous name at all. Okay, 38 damage. Sure, fine. You dicks. Mmm. Kill it. You see game titties? Are you talking about Princess Sarah? Her outfit? Oh, I did not mean to talk to you. No, don't tell me. Oh, no, stop. Stop talking. I'm gonna head north first. Oh, uh, I think north is the way I'm supposed to go. It is. We're gonna head south first. As in all video games, you find the way you're supposed to go and then immediately head in the opposite direction. Gotta get that loot! And that loot! Hey, I like Princess Sarah in this game. She does something. Her people are cursed and her first response is like, I'm gonna go fight a djinn! Don't know how to use any kind of weapons at all. Only have healing spells? Whatever. Ugh. These are skeletons, but purple. But they're shadows. Oh! This is this game's shadows. Good to know. They have a lot of health. A level. Effia gains a level. Okay, dokey. An Antarctic wind. You know, Princess Sarah, I'm aware that you can actually like help me in battle. Like, 
I know it's a thing you can do, so I'd be super grateful if you'd do it. Just cast a cure on the whole party. That's all I'm asking. Nothing big. Ow. Lunith gained the level. Off yours. Well, I don't care about your job levels when you're freelancers. I really don't. <laughs> Eye drops, thanks, I guess. This will be useful eventually, I'm sure. Let's fight, bros! Thank you. That's what, that's helpful. Thank you. Just do that every turn. Ow. I'm glad your job level increased, Ark. So happy about that. Oh god, An another fight immediately. Ow. Oh, this is fine. Here's the gen. Do you have anything new to say before we fight him? Nope. Just go tell me about quick saving and saving. That's fine. Can I save here? No, I didn't think so. Sneak, 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 sneak. Prepare to meet your doom, Jen. This ring will banish you once and for all. Nothing's happening, but why? <laughs> Your bubble has no power over me now that I am fused with the power of darkness. Our first actual real real boss fight. This guy can kill us unlike the uh, adamant toys that we annoyed earlier. Let me handle this. I mean, I'm very grateful for the cure. I kind of needed it. Ark, Refia, and Ingus are all a little bit injured. <laughs> that helped. If I had access to Blizzard. Oh god! Refia! Thank you! It'll actually be very helpful. Oh, we got him! Instead of sealing him, we just murdered his ass. Oh, I 
can swing our ceiling in. Less fun. You cannot escape the ring's power now. No! Hey, what's going on? You must return to the castle, milady. Do not fear for us. We will be fine. What is happening? Ingus! Where are we? You've been here before, Angus. Technically. I brought us here. I recognize this place. It's the Cave of the Crystal. Uh, we killed the djinn. That's all you missed. It is I who summoned you. You four have been chosen to be the warriors of light, the bringers of hope. You must take with you the last of my light and the last of our world's hope. Unless you act, the light will be lost and the equilibrium forever broken. Once you take in the light, you will be able to extract the power from the other crystals. Suck out the crystal's power. Is, is it going to play the credits? <laughs> it is. Okay. Well, I guess we're sitting through these. Damn. It's a weird place to put them. my jobs. Give them to me. On to four. <laughs> when the four were bathed in its light, they knew its will, its fear, its hope, and the destiny that awaited them. You must drive the darkness from this world and restore light to its rightful place. You are our last hope. been blessed with the crystal's light. Now go, step on the shining circle behind this altar to return to the surface. Embrace your destiny, warriors of light. Congratulations, Koopo. You can now change jobs. You can access job-specific abilities by changing jobs, Koopo. Be careful, though. You won't be automatically proficient in each job, Koopo. You'll need to practice each new job to maximize its potential, Koopo. Try it out. Good luck, Koopo. Achievement! Gone adventuring with the wind. Nice. Got it. Okay, so we are gonna return to the surface. And then 
head to Ur. Okay. So. Job. I'm taking a freelancer off the table. He can't be a freelancer. What job should Lunith be? Uh, Final Fantasy IV will be uh, started after uh, we beat Final Fantasy III, because I'm doing them all in order. Yeah. Uh, you can check out my YouTube channel for the archives of Final Fantasy I and II, which is the same as my Twitch, Epsilon Veritas. So yeah, guys. What should Lunith be? You're welcome. Well, that's one vote for Thief. Anybody, any other votes? Give you all, like, a minute or two. And if there's no other votes, it's gonna be Thief. Two votes for Thief. I see two votes for Thief. Three votes for Thief. That is half the chat, because there are six of you here, so... Thief it is! Yes! Dim clothes. Okay. What about Ark? Same rules last time. No freelancer, what should he be? Okay, which mage? It's one for black mage. Two for black mage. Any, any, any other? Three, yep, it's black mage. It's half of ya. Black mage it is. Bam! <laughs> okay, how about Refia? What should Refia be? Thief! One for Thief for Refia. Two votes for Thief for Refia. You've already said Thief. <laughs> Ah, three for Thief. It is a Thief, then. Dat Midriff. And Ingus. What about Ingus? Why would I not be able to have multiple Thieves on my party? I mean, it's gonna work really crappily, but... Um... I can. Two for white mage for Ingus. Two for white mage. Two for white mage. I I, I really need just like a monk. Ooh, some dissension in the ranks. Two for white mage. Two for monk. Oh, snap. Which way is it gonna go?
You can't be a white monk mage. This is not how that worked. You've already voted anyways. Um, since nobody has any additional votes then, I'm just going to roll this dice. And on it, Ethan, it's a monk. And on it, on it's a white mage. Ethan, monk. Okie dokie. Bam. Okay, so we need to change our formations. Um, and equipment. <laughs> I will lose attack for equipping a weapon as a... I mean, that makes sense for, like, the monk, but why? Why? Okay, whatever. Whatever. So the cap, the armor, bracer. Cap, the armor, bracer. Cap, armor, bracer. Cap, uh, no, not a vest. Armor and bracer. Um, we'll give you the leather shield. See if they have any spells and stuff for sale. Oh, okay. I'll wait here. I don't want to see my father. At least, not yet. Rafia has left the party. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. Uh... Oh, curse that gin. Okay, well, I guess technically we're not done. Whatever. Ah, there you are. Let's hurry. Chop, chop. Okay, sure. Let's head to Castle Sassoon first. Well, it's a man! With a sword! Put him to sleep. Anything else to do? Sleep. Love it. Get into the castle. There, Sarah. Well, he's a black mage. That's what they're famous for. Their hats. Everyone. Ingus. <laughs> Lady Sarah, I'm glad to see you are safe. Now, we must cleanse the ring in the Blessed Spring, and that should lift the curse. The Blessed Spring flows below Castle Sassoon. Let us hurry inside. Let's go! Run! Oh, you're just gonna take us there. That's fine. Ah. Princess Sarah throws the ring in the water. The curse should be lifted now. You should go speak to Father. That's kind of rude of us. Just turn her back on her. Oh, okay, bye. King wants us. I mean... Oh, I would say White Mage is best mage. You've returned. Your courageous deeds have saved the kingdom. You have my deepest gratitude. Thank you, sire, but we must go. We've been chosen to be the Warriors of the Light. Warriors of the Light, you say? Ingus, are you leaving us as well? Pretty sure that's treason, but I will allow it. Yes, sire. I see. Then I bid you all well. Then know that our hopes go with you, young champions. Yes, sire. Take this with you. It will surely prove itself useful during your journey. Shoot with a magical folding canoe. Oh, who? Ark? 
Yeah, probably. Should probably close his clothes. Ah! Yeah, I know. I got it. Thanks. <laughs> Picked that up earlier. How do I get here? How do I get back there? Oh, stairs. Now that everyone's back to normal, we are wandering around this place. A phoenix down! I have those. Thanks. Ah! Whoa, could you not zoom in like that? Thanks. Thank you! A leather shield. Uh, that's not what I need. Blizzard! Oh. Probably could have gotten that... <laughs> ...before fighting the djinn. Oh well, too late now. There we go. Bronze Knuckles. Um, let me put both of the Bronze Knuckles. Is it stronger? It is. Okay. Just one is not enough. Gotta have two. Love that. Apparently Blizzard's the first spell I really get in the game. Good to know. Best spell. 1,000 gil! 2,000 gil! Oh, is this where we threw that ring in? Yeah, okay, whatever, bye. Do not need... Can we, can we rest here? Oh, we can. We are allowed to sleep here. Well, I mean, without me, they would all be trapped as statues, and Princess Sarah... Statues, what am I saying? As ghosts. And Princess Sarah probably would have died alone in that cave. So, yeah. I feel I am entitled to their magic, and items, and money. They owe me. Hey, you made my main character a thief. What did you expect to happen? This is what you voted for. Atop the eastern tower is Lady Sarah's quarters. She came back in tears and would not open the door for anyone. However, Sir Ingus, she may let you through. Would you go see if she is all right? I never said it wasn't stealing, bro. <laughs> I'm a still author shit. It's all mine. I'm robbing Princess Sarah right now of her holy arrows. No, I don't have a bow. Hey, wait. Bow! More wooden arrows. And a potion. I think black mages can use bows. They can. Yay. Hey, Sarah. Milady. I have come to bid you farewell before I depart. You had to come here, didn't you? You know how it hurts me to see you go. Now you've made me cry. I must stay by my father's side. I wish I could go with you, but I would only slow you down. Sarah. I mean, you wouldn't. You standing in the back casting heal every turn would be great. A white mage would be more moral, except you all voted to make the main character Lunith into a thief, so I must steal everything. Lady Sarah worries for you. Come back safely from your journey and give her back her smile. way to phrase that. Phrasing! Are we leaving? Everyone! I just came to visit you. It's Lady Sarah! Everyone be safe. Promise me you'll come back just as soon when your duty is done. I mean, we all live here, so yeah. Fear not, our word is our bond. We shall return. I mean, yes, but at least now it's in character. I would rob them anyways. That is unimportant. There's a little canoe. Whoop! Got our airship back. Oh, Raffi is dad. Hi!
Father? Refia, you're all right. Thank the heavens. I... I... Don't cry, Father. Everyone's looking. It doesn't matter. I was so worried about you. Now let's go home. What? Wait, Father! Uh, hell yeah, I can. Whatever gave you the idea that I couldn't? I heard that when Mithril is forged by Train Smith, it gains special properties. Just thought I'd check. Our service lets you read letters from the people you've previously met. To Papa, how are you? Luneth, Ark, how fair are you? Ur is just not the same without you two. Everyone here misses you, and we all pray for your safe return. Don't forget to talk to Mog when you see him in town, Koopa. He might have a letter for you from a friend or loved one. Koopa? I don't remember where Refia's house is. It's here! Okay. Eh, what's that where you are? Can't you see I'm busy? I'm sorry. I want to go with you, but I don't think Father would let me. Okay. Sure, whatever. Bye, I guess we'll just go on a grand adventure without you. Since your dad said no. Oh, I have to get Sid, though. Then don't I? Oh, where's Sid? Let's take him home. Nope. I forgot where Sid is. The inn? Oh, there he is. Yes, Swedish bastard. Good work. I knew you'd pull it off the moment I saw you. I'm guessing you can make better use of my airship than I can myself, but first, I want you to take me back to Canaan. Mrs. Sid's been waiting a mighty long time for me to come back. Oh, okay. Oh, you're just gonna, like, straight up follow us. It's not weird at all. Let's talk, Sid. I'm Sid, creator of the airship. I'm all famous, you know. No autographs, please. Mrs. Sid's been waiting a mighty long time for me to come back, but Nell Valley's been blocked off by a huge rock, and no one can get through to Canaan. Did not mean to land. Oh, God. Now what do I need to do? Do I go talk to Refia again? Forget the order of events this early in the game. <laughs> he does. This is one of the more ridiculous sit outfits. The one in six also looks just atrocious. He's like a big yellow banana. Sid, you old dog, it's good to see you and not through you again. Yeah, I hear you. Say, Taka, we were thinking of busting that rock and Nell for the airship, but I reckon we need a Mithril Ram on the ship's bow. Think you can hack one together? A Mithril Ram, eh? Sounds feasible. Wait here, and I'll smith you one in no time. Refia, give me a hand or three, will ya? It was a very appropriate smithing close, Refia. <laughs> Short shorts and midriff bear. Hot fire! Done and done. Your airship has been fitted with a ram. You'll find it outside Kazoos. Sterling handiwork, as always, Taka. And fast, too. Let's set her up and bust some boulders. Bye. Oh, look who's no longer here. Wonder where she went. We'll never know. Oh, there it is. Oh, God, I didn't mean to. No. Just kill it, I guess. I'm here! I'm gonna smack it with my hammer! Holy shit! It's Sid! He's murdered that man! Yeah, 
Anyways, Refia, are you here? Have I done the order of events correctly to get you back on the team? You guys are late! What? But I thought, shouldn't you be? We all promised the crystal would go on a journey, and I don't want to be a smith just yet. I am thankful to Father for taking care of an orphan like me all these years, but this is something I have to do. Wait, you're an orphan too? Two? You mean... <gasps> I'm one too! Wait a minute. I too have no parents. It can't be a coincidence. The crystal must have known. <laughs> we have no family that will miss us. How convenient. Sounds like it's going to be an interesting journey. Now let's go break that rock. <laughs> like, so it's like, yeah, yeah, that's nice. Oh no, our smith, our airship blew, blew up. It blew up. Whew. Are we going to say anything about it? Oh, my back. Well, that was entertaining, wasn't it? Good to see everything's intact. It's weird. It feels as if we've done this before. Did you hit your head or something? We'd never even seen an airship until we met Sid. Right? <laughs> like, my attacks were like 10 damage. He's like, 120. Thank you for your help, lads. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you out. I know. You probably want to get your hands on a new airship. Well, I'm the man for the job, but you'll have to meet King Argus first. See, I only made the airship's hull. The king's the one who knows the secret of creating airship engines. Come see me again once you've spoken with King Argus. Bye, Sid. It was enjoyable to watch you do that one thing in that one battle. Okay, so we've made it to Kanon, so I think I'm going to end here, because it's been about an hour and a half, and my stream health is, like, steadily dropping. You've probably been seeing a lot of lag. Sorry. But, uh, I will be streaming tomorrow. I don't know when. I have a dinner I have to attend, though. So, and that's at, like, 6 or 7. So it'll either be probably, like, 4 to 5 or 4 to 6, and, or it'll be, like, 8 to 9. Who knows? One or the other. So yeah, catch me tomorrow. If you want to know exactly when, you can follow me here, you can follow me on Tumblr, you can follow me on Twitter, you could theoretically follow me on Instagram, but I don't ever use it, and you can follow me on YouTube. Literally any of them. Just pick one. And you'll get your updates. Okay, well, I'm going to end now. I hope you all had fun. I'm going to save the game. Oh my god. Yeah. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Adios. Amigos.